Hello, 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 everybody. Stamps to create here. Getting myself situated. I look crooked. <laughs> I hope you can join me. Let me just log in, make sure I can see how I look to you. I was just checking out the Stampin' Up! website. Um, waiting for the live to begin. Okay, looks like I'm good. Yep, all is good. So, hello, hello, hello. When you're coming in, be sure to say hello. Um, I am an independent demonstrator. I'm in the Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania area. Been a demonstrator. I'll be celebrating 20 years this year. So, it's really exciting because it's 20 years in the year 2020. I couldn't have planned that any better. Hey, Michelle. How's it going? <clears throat> I don't know about you down there, but here we are getting terrible winds. They had called for winds today, but I didn't really think there was any wind. Well, there is now. I had to actually close the curtains to the windows <clears throat> because um, it's breezy in here. <laughs> when you have an old house, you have breeziness. Yeah, it is bad. So hopefully um, I'll be able to hang in there and not lose connection because I forgot to check to make sure I'm hooked up to the one upstairs here. So... Um, there's just so many things I have to remember when I'm going to do these. So I was on the Stampin' Up! website here. Um, normally when I go on, um, and I know it's a little washed out for you, so when I normally go on, being a demonstrator, I go, it's crooked, here we go. So I go on and I click up there and demonstrate a login, and I usually just log on in. And um, I never really look at anything that's on here. So it's at stampinup.com, and when you scroll down, there's a lot of information on here. There's a lot of samples. It's a lot of great ideas. I was amazed because, like I said, I never scroll down to look at anything. I just, and then it has a view more, so we'll view more. And, um, I mean, for Valentine's Day or just about anything, there's just so much information on here. And um, if you haven't checked it out, you know, be sure to check it out. So let's view some more here. Look at all the great ideas. They have little cupcakes there. All kind of little doodads. Great, great ideas. And these little heart tins, I showed them last week. Um, you actually can bake in them. So I think I may try that. I think that would be a lot of fun. But, um, yeah, be sure to check it out at stampinup.com. There's some videos on here. You can click. Um, they have some links for YouTube. Um, just a lot of things that are going on. And just lots of great, great ideas. All the new products. So, yeah, check that out at stampinup.com. And, of course, get inspired. Um, hey, Kay, how are you? It is very cute. So, check that out. So, um, okay. Okay. I went into the um, the shared from last week, and it said that seven people had shared, but there was only five names, and I tried for the life of me to figure out who the other two were. Um, so, hey, Carol, how are you? And um, I, I don't know who the other two were. So, um, I'll tell you the names I have here, and if you're on here, and if you shared it, so when you share... Be sure to go and type in capital letters SHARED so that when I go back in, I can, you know, I'll be able to see who it was that shared. So, um, and yeah, I have a little Stampin' Up! Um, washi tape on my thumb because I, my hands are so dry and I apologize for that and I'm still healing from the burn. Um, it's taken a long time, but um, my, this, it cracked on my thumb, so I didn't want you to have to be looking at that bad enough, you have to look at that, but my hand is usually turned this way, you won't see that, so I just used some washi tape on it, just to cover it up, so anyhow, um, here's the names that I got, well, so we'll do the drawing first, and, um, I am going to be doing another drawing for next week, so if you missed out on this, or if you didn't win, or maybe you'll be lucky enough you'll win again, um, all you got to do is share the video, share this um, Facebook Live, I'm trying to get more people to come and find me. So um, one of the great ways you can is through social media because everybody has different friends. So if you share with your friends and possibly their friends, share with their friends. And um, 
yeah, we'll get out there. So here's the names that I have. I had um, Lori Fox Manicho, and if I say your name wrong, I apologize. Um, Michelle T., I know you're here. Uh, Lisa Johnson, I have Nancy Volts, and Mary. Mary, I saw your name there. I see that you're watching, so hello, hello. So um, did I miss anybody? Is there anybody here that um, shared that it didn't, you know, for some reason you didn't type in the... The in capital letters shared because I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to win um, because I have two two gifts I'm giving away I'm giving away the holiday haul which is a celebration set um, that is no longer available not celebration I'm sorry a um, host set that is no longer available and um, I have these real pretty red rhinestone basic jewels which would be perfect for Valentine's Day or any other time. Um, I really think they're really nice and I really love this stamp set so I'm really thrilled that um, I'm able to give that to someone tonight. So Carol did you say shared? Okay there were two names like I said two names um, that I it said seven people shared and I only had five so um, I didn't see so okay. Carol. All right, let me put your name down. So there was one other person that shared. So if you want to get in for next week's drawing, all you got to do again is just to share the video. So um, I got you down, Carol. So there was one other person, and um, let me give it another minute or so. So um, for next week's drawing, while we wait, um, I have something really fun to give away. And I'm going to be giving away these um, in color faceted gems. So those are real pretty. If they're in a color you don't like and you have your um, Stampin' Blends, your alcohol markers, or whatever kind of alcohol markers, hopefully they're Stampin' Up, you can color these and make them whatever color you want. So these are the in color 2019 2021. So um, real pretty. That's going to be for. Um, next week's drawing so you have all week even if you're watching the replay you have all week to to watch to share and type make sure you type in capital letters shared so that I know and um, your name will go in for the drawing so you shared again tonight okay just make sure you type in capital letters shared when you do so so that when I go back in, I'll be able to find. So I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is staying warm. What a difference in temperature it's been, huh? And tonight, the winds. Okay, thanks for sharing, everybody. Thanks for sharing. So let's see. Um, all right, we're about 7.04, 7.05. So we got this big bucket because I was anticipating I was going to have this whole thing filled. But um, that's okay. It takes a, it's a slow process. Okay, so the first gift I'm going to um, pick for, the first giveaway, is the um, Red Rhinestone Jewels. And Michelle, you may recognize this. It's that little trash can. I'm actually using it in my stamp room. Okay, so for the um, Basic Red Jewels, we have Mary Seiford. Congratulations, Mary. And let me just... I will send that off to you in the mail. I know Monday is a holiday. Um, so I will hope to get there tomorrow. But these may fit in a regular envelope. So I might be just be able to, to mail those. So Mary is the lucky winner of those. So thank you so much for sharing. And now it's the... Um, hi, Tammy. Now it's the drawing. So again, to get into next week's drawing, to win these faceted dots... All you gotta do is share, 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 and sell, share the love, right? Okay, so for the holiday haul stamp set, we have da, 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 Lori Fox, and I think it's Manicho. So congratulations, Lori. I don't know if you're here. I don't remember. I don't recall seeing your name yet, but um, that will go off to Mary in to Lori and to Mary in the mail. So thanks everyone for sharing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna put them right here in the bin. And um, again, these will be for next week. So um, they're real pretty. 
Okay, so that out of the way. All right. Um, I want to share with you, I have an upcoming class. It's actually next week. It's the Birthday Card Club class. It's going to be each fourth Wednesday of the month. So the 22nd is the one for January. And what I'm going to be doing at these monthly um, birthday card classes is we're going to focus on a certain bundle of products. So the one for January is this really cute birthday bonanza. And it was kind of kiddish, but you know what? It's just super cute. So here's the whole line of all the different products. You can find this in the current um, catalog, the little mini catalog. And of course, you know, when you come to one of my events, I always have a little treat for you too. So um, here's the stamp set. And um, it is super cute. And it has coordinating paper that goes with it. This paper right here. And there are dies. And the dies actually cut out some of the images on the paper, which is even more cute. So let me show you a little tip what I did. So I always, and this is coming off, I have to use a little bit more glue because it's winter time and it's fluctuating in this temperature and it's just playing around with my glue. So these are the dies that go with the stamp set. So I always have a problem with trying to find my dies that go with the stamp set. So um, I went to Lowe's, yep, Lowe's, and I got these. These are those vent covers. I know I've mentioned this before. Hello, Karen. Hello from Arizona. I'm sure it's a lot warmer there. And what these are is these are magnetic vent covers. So look at how cool these are. So rather than spending a lot of money, which you can, for these magnetic sheets, and this will pop out because, like I said, my glue is not sticking too well. So here it is. All I did is I cut it, and I believe uh, it's 5 by 7 I think, is the size that I cut it. And I used um, some of this um, tape that we sell, the tear and tape. I put some on the back and took it out of the envelope. Now, I didn't throw the envelopes away, those envelopes they come in, because I'm going to figure I'm going to be able to use that. And just press that right inside and close it up. Then when you want the dies that go with it, like, boop, there they are. And I have a labeler, so I put on there what they are. But these vent covers, you get three of them. And so tell me how long they are. Mm, well, they're the size of what a vent is. And what they are, basically, you put them over a vent. You can find these in the plumbing section. Normally, um, the plumbing and heating, normally down on the bottom shelf is wherever I've found them before. And they're only a couple dollars. And you really can get a lot out of them. So there's a little FYI for you. So let me tuck that away. So anyhow, um, next week's class, there's still time to sign up. You can sign up through Sunday. I'll even extend it. Hey, Kelly. Hello, hello. Be sure to share and put it in capital letters if you do to be entered into the drawing. Um, so next week is going to be the Bonanza Buddies. And um, I'm going to extend it into Monday where you can sign up for this. This class is only $15, and all you need to do is you can come here, just bring your basic supplies, your scissors, your adhesive, bone folder, you know, if you have a take-your-pick tool, whatever you normally use when you make cards. And I supply everything else already pre-cut and ready to go and assemble. So it's $15, or if you place a qualifying order, your class is free, so you have to place the order um, the day of the class. So I'm going to show you the cards that we're going to do. Um, really fun. So, uh, of course, it, it is kind of more kiddish, but you can definitely spruce this up for adults. I mean, I'm an adult and I love them too. So here's one of them. Look at how cute this is. And when you open it up, of course, I'm glad it's your birthday so I can tell you how wonderful you are. So there is one of the cards that you're going to do. And like I said, everything's going to be pre-scored for you and ready to go. So here's another card. Now this little plastic piece is actually the baggie that they have in the catalog here. There are these little gusseted cellophane bags, so it's cut. And the other part of it, well, I'm going to have something here for you as a thank you for coming. And I incorporated, if you can see on here, the sequins and this trim. This is a free celebration item that you can get with a $50 order. So if you order this bundle and a little something else, 
you can get those and it coordinates really nice. And then here's the inside. Let's celebrate you. Happy birthday. And then the third card is just, and these are pretty much, I checked the catalog and you know, why reinvent the wheel? So um, look at how cute this is. And these koala bears, I mean, it just reminds me of the people over in Australia that are dealing with the wildfires. So, um, so it's super cute. And look at the little balloons. You can stamp those. So you will have all, everything here ready. You'll get envelopes, so you'll be all ready to go for January. So if you can't make this month's class, be sure to check out the one for next month because it'll be the fourth Wednesday of each and every month. Okay, so if you have any questions on that, you know, you can always let me know. Here is the um, celebration free item, and it is metallic baker's twine and sequins. You get it's a combo pack. Look how pretty that is. That just coordinates, and these little sequins they're just so cool because they actually have stripes on them. So, love those. So that is that, and I have it all here, ready to go. All I need is you to come. All right, so let me move this away. And um, something else I have is on Super Bowl Sunday, I'm having a Super Sunday tailgate party. on, And it's February 2nd. I mean, these, these numbers are killing me. 2-2-2020. I mean, can't forget that, right? So I want to show you what we're going to be making there. Well, some of the things that we're going to be making there. So it's going to be a lot of fun. It's 1 o'clock. Um, you'll get a stamp set. So you have to make sure you sign up ASAP. Here's the stamp set that you'll get. Now, if you sign up late and I'm not able to get this on time, I'll have to send it to you or we'll do a porch pickup or something. So for the win, everybody needs one of these, right? If you're into sports, you got kids, grandkids, uh, you know, neighbors, cousins, or yourself. So you'll get the stamp set. And um, here's one of the cards that you'll be creating. Isn't that fun? I'll bring it up whoop, this way, real close for you to see. Isn't that super cute? So there's one of them. Um, and I believe I shared that last time. Now, if you, of course, follow me on Facebook, you would have seen this one, which is super cute. And I actually won a, um, a free gift from someone when I posted it online. They loved it so much that I actually won. So, um... You'll get to do this. And look at the football, how cute it is. So you'll do that. And then this one is probably my favorite. It's a little football. And it's giving me some trouble here. But it's a little spinner where the little football just spins back and forth. And um, so this one is super, super fun. And on the back, this is where you would write or stamp or do whatever. So it's just basically, you know, this. I didn't want to make it too thick because... Um, you put your two cents in with this card, but it's just so so fun and this little football goes back and forth So um, those are the cards some of the cards you'll be doing for the Super Bowl party And of course, I'm going to have some snacks and fun things Now for the bingo the bingo is March 15th This one you definitely have to sign up ahead of time and of course my classes are all prepay You have to prepay for them so that I could order the products so at the bingo, you'll be getting the Painted Poppies stamp set, which is super fun. And um, I normally, I know, normally I don't share with you the products, projects we're making, but I just thought I would. So here is a fun one. You're going to be getting some note cards and envelopes in your goodie bag. And you'll be able to create this fun card. We play bingo. I have lots of prizes. We have snacks. It's really a fun, fun time out. Um, then you'll also be creating this fun one. And this is with the note cards and envelopes. So you'll be using those that are in your goodie bag. Super cute. And this one, I'm really thrilled with this. This is not my idea, but when I saw it, I thought, yes. And I'm going to be showing the bee, um, honey bee set. Look at how cute this is. It's a little shaker card. I'm trying to get the shakers to move around. Look at how cute that is. So you're going to be making that too. So we'll be making these th three cards. And of course we're going to be playing bingo. We're going to have snacks. And um, it's just a lot of fun. Anybody that's attended it before, I mean, it just grows and grows and grows every year. So those are the upcoming events. Now, if you're in the area, I'm doing a craft show at St. Jude's. And I know I said I wasn't doing any more craft shows. 
but um, that's posted along with adult education classes up at Crestwood High School. That's going to be scheduled for April. So um, some of the fun things I have coming up. Okay, so let's get to stamping. All right. Last week, if you remember, I showed you this that I unbagged, <clears throat> this Masking Magic. Let me take a coffee drink. Okay, I bought this off Amazon, and it's by Gina K, which anybody that does rubber stamping, if you follow any other people, you may recognize her name. And um, it's actually paper. Like, normally you would use, like, a Post-it note, which um, sometimes you have trouble with that, like, not sticking and whatnot. So um, this is actually their full sheets, and um, this will show you what the sheet is. I believe these are 5 by 7 sheets, and um, I'm going to show you how this all works. I thought this was great if you like to do the masking technique. So let me take one out. And how many are here? Well, this is only a couple dollars. It wasn't expensive. Oh, there's 12 sheets. So even if you want to go in on a friend or if you just want to buy for yourself and just hoard your own, which is what I like to do. So okay, sorry for the crinkling and wrinkling. Okay. Oh, I got two of them. So they're really thin. Okay. So um, what I want to show you is a fun um, card using one of our celebration sets, the Mirror Cats, the Gang's All Mirror, which I guess it's a big, um, I don't really know what this is, but all I know is everyone's saying the Lion King, and I guess it's from the Lion King, so um, the, the Mirror Cats, which I didn't even know what they were, I would think they were gophers, maybe they're the same thing, I don't know, Durr. but um, look at this fun card. And um, in order to do this technique without stamping over one another, all you have to do is do a little bit of masking. And it's super fun to do. So um, I'll use this one that I already have going. So I'll leave the card over here so you can see. So um, I already have my little um, ones already done, but I want to show you how to do it. So, and I made a whole bunch of them. Probably could use a bigger block than that, but that's okay. Okay. And if you have any questions, type them in um, capital letters. So um, when I look up, I'll notice it. So um, I'm using the um, Early Espresso ink, and I'm just going to... You and I'm getting a glare from the lights. I'm trying to work on my lighting here. I'm, I just have a terrible time with lighting. So um, there's my little Maricats stamped right on here. And um, I'm going to put this off to the side so I don't get myself into it. Now, the only thing I found is, um, you will notice, they look real shiny. So, um, I didn't want it to, you know, to smear. I just turn it over and on my paper that I'm working on, I'll just do that. And you can see there's some ink. So, I didn't want to get it all over my hands, even though I normally do. Okay, so you'll stamp it on this this paper and then you want to I'm not you know exact with cutting this out you actually want to cut out on the line or a little less otherwise you'll get a little bit of shadowing so you would cut all this out and it's really quick to do turn your paper hold your scissors straight we all know the um, thing about cutting right I actually like fussy cutting of course, I don't like doing it when I'm, you know, in front of all you guys watching, but it's something I like to do in the closet. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, so I'm going to cut out this little bit of the bottom thing, too. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so here we have these. Let me get my card base. Alrighty. Okay, so I have some very vanilla, and the only reason I'm doing very vanilla... Oh, hi, Nancy. Oh, thanks for sharing, because I'm doing another giveaway. Be sure to stay to the end, because Mary had a request last week, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to abide by her request, so be sure to stay till the end. Um, so I'm using very vanilla only because I have a whole stash of it, and I always use Whisper White, and I have all this very vanilla. So um, I'm going to peel this off. There is a little separation if I cut this in the right spot which I'm thinking I did not, but that's okay. This is probably the hardest part of this whole procedure is to get the bagging off. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
Okay, so we'll put that there. We don't need the backing. I'm going to bring my stamp back in and my ink pad that I tucked away. And I'm going to stamp on my cardstock the little guys. Okay, so there they are. Cute, right? So now I want to stamp more of them. So I'm going to take this little mask that I did, and I used that masking paper, which the whole back of it is sticky, and it is wonderful. It doesn't tear your paper, how sometimes things tear your paper, and I'm thinking I could use that for other things too. So I'm going to cover them with the mask, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, this one I could probably, if I move over a little bit, I could stamp here, and I'm going to ink up, and stamp there okay so now I have a couple other masks that I did and what I want to do is I'm going to put them over there to protect them uh, what am I saying here you're here and you shared I am loving all the cards you showed I wish I was close to you so I could attend your classes oh well Joyce you know we could always do class in the mail and, um, I mean, that's always a possibility or just an additional extra charge for the postage. That's all. And I'll do videos and you can follow along with me. Okay, so I'm going to put masks over the over cross of all of those to protect them. I'm going to bring these little guys in again. And I'm going to stamp and stamp. Now I even have another one here. So I made a whole bunch of them. And... Let's see. Let me pick these up. It's probably easier to do that. Okay. So now I want to protect these and those. And I'm going to stamp right in the center. And let's see how we did. Now save these. Here's what I do. Take these off because you can reuse them. I mean, they look pretty ugly, but that's okay. They still work. All right, carefully. And I stick them right inside my stamp case. And when you take them off, look. Uh -huh! The gang's all here. yee So I'm so excited. I love that. I just love it. I mean, there's no other way you could possibly do. Now imagine the things you can do with flowers or backgrounds or things like that. Just imagine. So, okay, so now I want to color these little guys in. I want to make myself some background. So, um, I can actually, isn't that cool, Kelly? I'm actually going to bring these back in. I should have just left them on because I want to do a little background. So, um, I don't want to um, zhuzh these little guys up. So, I mean, you can use this set. You can use any sets you already have. You can use your post-it notes. I believe they came out with some kind of larger post-it notes. But um, I just think that this paper is like the bomb. And, oh, that one came off a little bit. I want to show you how to do a fun little background. Oh, hi, Jeff. Okay, so let me move that aside. So I'm going to bring in the balmy blue because I want to give myself a little bit of sky. Now, I bought these things. I've shown them before, but I actually found a box. Um, I had bought these smaller ones. I saw them at Dollar Tree. It was um, be way before the holidays, even before Thanksgiving. These are makeup brushes. They may look like foam, but they're actually brushes. And um, I found them on Amazon, my first batch. These are really large ones. Um, I believe I've used them. I have used them. But you can get them all different sizes. Check them out on Amazon. They're actually called, well, that name, whatever that is, Josalinas. But if you just type on makeup brush set, you know, you can find them on there. Rather than, and I do love our sponges and I do love our daubers, but um, these just, oh, they're amazing. So right into your ink pad, take a little bit off. And just, it just goes on. Oh, I think I'm using the green one. Okay. Well, we're going to have a little green sky. Yeah, I was using the green one. I have two of them here. I shouldn't mark them. Okay. We'll have a little bit of a stormy sky on there. And you don't really want to do that. You want to brush off first. I'm just doing everything wrong. You ever have one of those days? 
I'll tell you. Well, as long as I started with the green, I might as well just add a little bit more. So maybe it's a stormy sky. But I'm just having one of those off days. So anyhow, you know, don't do what I did. So um, this one is the green. Okay. So then here along the bottom, um, I'm using pear pizzazz. And I'm going to have to get my labeler out and um, label them. And I don't wash these. I don't really clean them, which is even all the better. I'm just going to go along the edge just to make it look like it's grass. Okay, there we go. Hey, Lisa. Lisa, did you win the draw? Wait, hold on a second. What did I do with that? Does anybody remember? Was Lisa one of the winners? No, it was Lori. I'm sorry, Lori and Mary. Sorry, I saw your name was in there, though. You were in for the drawing. Okay, when you peel that off, look at how fun that is without having a green background. Um, but anyhow, again, it's just demonstration purposes to show you how to do it. Just don't mix up your makeup brushes or label them or something. Okay. So I don't know. I never wash them. I just kind of do this kind of thing. And when nothing comes off... Like the green is coming out when nothing comes off. You know, I stick to keeping it to blues, greens, you know, reds, those kind of things. Let me put my masks back in here. So now for these little guys, if you, maybe you only have a few ink pads and you want to color these guys in, but you don't really have a whole lot of ink pads. So our dye ink um, actually will, um, you'll be able to color with us. Um, those brushes are fun to use. I bought some from Dollar Tree and they work great. Yes, that's where I got my original ones for Dollar Tree. So here I have an aqua painter and they come in a set of two. And I'm just going to run it along my hand just to make sure it's not too wet. So I want to color these in. But because these are dye-based inks, look at how you can color and shade in these little guys. So if you don't have a whole lot of product... And um, whether they're meerkats or flowers or whatever, use that color that you stamped with to color in. And I'm not being, you know, any kind of special particular. I'm just kind of blending in. You know, you can actually play more with it. You can use anything to color, but when the color's already there, like, why not use it? So there, look at. Can you see how they're colored in as opposed to how they were? So that's fun. All right. So um, let's see. What else do I have here? So what I want to do is I'm going to um, layer this on a, mm, yeah, one of those days, the gorgeous grape. Blech. So these are just layers. Um, my base card is your basic um, eight and a half by 11. Cut it four and a quarter and scored it five and a half. So um, this is actually one of the thick vanilla bases. Yeah, so that's that. That's what my base is going to be. And I'm going to do the layering on here. What did I get on there? I'm telling you. So that's where something's going to go. Okay. So I have a little strip here that I'm going to stamp from all of us. And let's get that out. From here from all of us and where's my other oops sorry for the reach I'm gonna get my other block so I'm going to bring back in the early espresso and hold my breath and say a prayer that I stamped as well there we go not too bad okay so from all of us and I also want to um, get my snips, and I'm just going to take a little bit off this side. And hello, Heather. Thanks for joining us tonight. And I'm going to take a snip off this side. Now, I want to make a little flag, so I'm just going to take a little snip here and snip from corner to corner to make a flag. I mean, you can use a punch, but, you know, if you're, you know, on a budget, you can't afford all the special little toys. You know, we're going to work with what you what you have, and what you can afford, because I'm all about that. Okay, um, uh, here we go. Glue dots. Okay, 
Okay. Oh, so before we do that, I'm going to put the dimensionals on the back of here. But so the ribbon on my sample. Come on. And I promise I'm not going to keep you here all night long, but it's just a little fiddly here with um, doing this. Okay. I usually just throw that on the floor. Okay. So I don't want to cover any of their cute little faces, so I'm going to put it down here. From all of us. Doo -doo. Okay. So now the ribbon. The ribbon that I'm using, and I think this is still in the catalog. Um, if not, you can, again, use whatever ribbon you have. This is Stampin' Up! the gold edge ribbon, and again, it's the Very Vanilla. So what I want to do is I want to uh, just wrap this around. I'm going to show you a fun way to make a bow if you don't like doing bows. But, um, I mean, it's okay if I used it like this, but I need to add some color to this ribbon. And you can do this with any of our ribbons. I have one of our um, Stampin' Blends, which is our alcohol markers, and of course, I'm like the visually impaired, you know, when you get old, you can't see things. So this is the Dark Highland Heather, okay? And our Stampin' Blends are actually alcohol markers, and I'm gonna actually use this to color my ribbon. So I'm gonna use those two different tips to these. One has a bullet tip, and one has like a brush tip. So I wanna use the brush tip. And make sure your caps go on. You wanna make sure you hear that snap because they're alcohol, so alcohol will dry out. We don't want them to dry out. So I'm going to actually use the edge of this, and I'm going to color in my ribbon. And if you go over the uh, gold edge, it does not affect it at all. You would think that it would, that it would cover it and change the color, but for whatever reason, and... I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to question why, but there we go. And the great part of this is it does both sides. Look at that, both sides. Now, you'll when you feel it, it'll be a little cool to touch. That means that it's still, you know, dry, but being it's alcohol, it dries pretty quick. So, um, uh... You have sound now. Yippee. Oh, I'm sorry, Mary. Well, like I would could have learned sign language or something, but I'm not very good with that either. Okay, so let me just set that there to dry. Um, let me bring in some of the Tombow glue. Um, 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 um. Let me get a little pin and poke this. There we go. Okay, let's hope that comes out. Okay, this one isn't coming out. Hold on. Let's try some fast fuse. This is retired, but I still love it. And that glue, um, because I had a pin in it that wasn't stainless steel, it actually made the glue brown, which is kind of gross, but okay. All right, so we're just going to layer this on here. And you want to make sure if you do any kind of um, water coloring or anything, it's going to cause your cardstock to ripple a little bit. So you want to use a strong glue on there. So, oh my gosh, you're just so cute. Okay, so here's the, the faux bow technique. So I'm going to take this and um, I'm going to use that tear and tape only because it's, it's easy to use. So I want to wrap this around. I'm just going to put some tear and tape on there. And wrap this around. And cut this. And of course these are the crappy scissors. Everybody knows that comes to my classes, right? We have ribbon scissors. The one with the big honking ribbons on is the ribbon scissors. If you sew, or um, maybe if you don't, maybe if you had someone in your family that sewed, you all know that you never take your fabric scissors to paper because it dulls them terribly. So you want to make sure you have a pair of scissors you designate for cutting ribbons and fabrics and things like that. And I have this big keychain from Stampin' Up! from years ago, so... Um, people know if it has a ribbon, ribbons on it, it's the ribbon scissors. 
Oh, and I hope I colored enough of this. Let me see. So you just wrap that around, right? We're being thrifty again, you know. It's the first of the year. We got holiday bills we got to pay. I'm going to make this a little bit more. So um, we're going to be coloring our own ribbon. We're going to be using one ink pad. We're going to be doing all that. So you take that, wrap that around. You're not using a whole lot of ribbon this way either. And just bring that under here and just tie a knot like so okay so let's just trim these ends and oh I probably did have enough but better to be safe than sorry okay I think I'm done with those for now so here's the other fun thing about this bow is well maybe you had a little zhush over here well slide it over there or slide it back you know I don't like that. I need to trim that a little more. Um, I hid my resin ribbon so they don't get used by accident. Yeah, well, if you put one of these, a big keychain-y thing on it, and, um, you know, of course, nobody here would take them unless when the grandkids come over, but I think they know not to do that. Okay, so there's our card. Look how fun that is can't get any better than that so we're going to layer this on here and again I'm going to use my fast fuse now I could peel that you know that off from the um, tear and tape but eh, who cares okay and just layer that on there now you could also um, if you have the um, dimensionals you can raise this layer up if you choose but again we're we're on the thrifty budget here so now we all have little scraps, right? We want to make these little party hats. Now there is a um, there is a, a stamp in here that has these little party hats. But I'm going to tell you, I stamped that, and that is a bugger to cut out. So I'm just going to make my own. I mean, you can do that. All you're doing is just making a triangle. We all can do that, right? So um, this is some of the birthday bonanza paper left over. So all these little scraps that you be accumulate and use them. Do something with them. You know, punch them, do something. And, you know, my party hats are not going to be perfect. Uh, if you want perfect, my saying is always, you know, go pay $20 at Hallmark for your perfectness. But um, let me try this other glue. So we're going to pick out strategically. We want maybe this guy. Give him a little glue. We're going to give him a party hat. Because he looks like he's fun. Like he's one of the guys you want to invite to your party. And you don't want to block out anybody's head. So this little guy down here, he looks like he needs a little party hat. That one's not really a party hat kind, but that's okay. That's big for his head, but he's a party boy. He's okay with that. And how about this little guy right here? This is where your Tombow glue comes in handy. Or you can use glue dots. Glue dots would be good, too. And there's our little party hats on our little party guys. So, of course, we have to do a little more, right? So I have these Holiday Rhinestone Basic Jewels. Now, you can use any of our rhinestones. Um, these happen to be already colored. They're stuck to there. So um, say like this light color here, if I didn't want to use that, and I wanted to bring in some of that Heather Highland um, marker thing, we can just color this. Let me use the other end. You can make these because, again, they're alcohol markers. You can make these any colors you want them to be. So go ahead and get the basic rhinestones, the basic pearls, and color them whatever color you want. Now, can you see the difference? It's purple. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, we're almost done. So I want to take a little one of these. And I do have my Take Your Pick tool, but I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to use one of these. For this guy's hat and let's use one of these but don't forget to share if you're watching and you want to be entered into the drawing you want to share it and then type in capital letters shared okay so there we go how fun is that well let's put one more down here mm -hmm. let's go with a green one put one right there 
And then the inside, you can decorate however you want. Um, the inside, all I did is I stamped these little cacti, and I used that little bit of, um, again, with the little makeup brushes to color that in. I didn't use any kind of aqua paint or nothing. I just used the brush to kind of go over it. And happy birthday to a stand-up friend. But aren't they super cute? Do you like these? Do you like this masking technique? Isn't it fun? Um, would the fine tip glue pen work for those tiny... Yep, that would. The fine tip glue pen... Well, it's fine tip glue. Is that a pen? Fine tip glue. Um, here is the fine tip. Yeah, it is a pen. P fine tip glue pen. That would work too. But I always forget about that. I have that up there on my shelf and I forget. So yeah, that's a fun, fun masking technique. So I hope you give that a try. Let me just tidy up some of this stuff. Because I have something else I want to share with you. So that is masking. The masking technique. Alright. So. I want to bring in. Um, the sweet with the honeybees. Which is in. This. Mini catalog. Let me get rid of that. Put that in the bin. And, um, of course, if those of you that do know or don't know, um, my team that I have signed up under me were actually called the Sweet Bee Stampers. So when I saw this suite of products, I was like, yes, I have to have this. It's called Honey Bee Bundle. It's on page 30 in here. You can view this catalog online if you're one of those kind of people that don't like to have you know, all these catalogs laying around, you don't have a lot of room, you can download it right onto your um, electronic device. Or um, if you're interested in a catalog, I have catalogs coming on Monday because um, I ran out of them, so I had to order another bunch of them. But um, it's a Honey Bee stamp set, and it has coordinating dies and some really great samples. You can see all of this online. Um, yeah, so let me show you... Um, Here's what I like to do for organization, and this is just one of those, and don't mind it, it's not that it's dirty, I use it when I do decoupage, so it was something I had. Um, I like to stamp these out and um, put them, and die cut them, and put them all in a little tray, or you can use a little bowl, or whatever kind of little tchotchke you have, put them in there and they're all ready to go. And I just want to share with you a quick quick card mm. all right so again because I'm trying to use up my very vanilla use very vanilla oh thank you thank you for sharing hello Joyce I didn't see you come in so um, again this is eight and a half by eleven scored at five and a half cut at four and a quarter I just happened to be going long ways today so that is my card base. Then I'm going to throw in a little something else on this card that doesn't look like my sample. And I'm looking for my other pieces here. Okay. This is fun paper. Watch, I don't knock everything down. This is actually called black foil sheets. And they come this way. They come in 12 by 12 size. That's the back of it. So, um... They're black foil sheets. Really cool. Great for doing the embossing. So I thought that would be a cool little layer. So this is cut at four by five and a quarter. Okay, so that'll layer there. So I thought that was fun. Then I have another piece. Where are we at here? Not that one. This one, another piece of vanilla. That's just a quarter inch shorter. So what that was, five and a half. So this is five by three and four quarters. Yes. And that's the one I'm going to stamp on. So um, let me bring in. So again, here's the honeybee. And like I showed you earlier, what I like to do with my dies is to stick them right inside the case with those magnetic sheets. If you missed all that, I'm going to post this online. You'll be able to go back and watch it again. Okay. So... Um, I didn't clean my other stamps, so shame on me. I'm just going to peel them off and put them up there. 
Now you want to be careful when you have these cling mount stamps because you want to kind of break the suction a little bit and not just rip them off because you'll rip the red rubber right off the back of the stamp and we don't want you to do that. Okay, so I'm going to bring in these bees. I want that one and I want this one. There's two different size bees. They're really cute. So I'm just going to, let's see, let's do this a little different than the original one. Let's go this way. You know, your card can go all different ways. You can have your standard card or, you know, you can go off the wall. So we're just going to stamp a bunch of bees. And I'll tell you, this bee is so realistic. I do not like bees. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Cute bees are okay in my book. Real bees, nope, 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 nope. And now we're going to stamp the little guy. Just to kind of fill in. Probably have to re-ink my um, ink pad, I'm seeing it's a little bit light. So just have them going all different ways. Off your paper is fine too. Okay, that's good. Those that aside. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, let's do the little hello. And where's my other? Okay, here it is. My other block. The little hello. Hello, hello, hello. So we'll just fill in with little hellos. <laughs> and it's okay to, you might want to be careful when you're doing the hello not to forget, you know, and don't do the O, or somebody might think that, you know, you're being nasty. Just saying. Okay, so there's our little hellos. And again, this is going to be a quick card. And then I have a couple samples to share with you. Okay, so we're going to bring in our Stampin' Blends. We're just going to do a little bit of coloring on these guys. So we're using the Light and Dark Daffodil Delight. And we're going to go with the light, and we're just going to go right in the center with all these guys. And I'll show you where the magic happens with these. These markers are the bomb. My poor other regular markers, they just get left out anymore. I feel so bad. I'm going to have to start using them because they're just sitting there saying, Woe is me. All she does is alcohol markers anymore. Okay, so then I'm going to take the darker one. And what I want to do is just on the ends, just do a little bit. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to blend with the lighter one. So, you know, you may say, well, why don't you just do the dark one first? Well, you can. It's just a matter of preference, what you like doing. You know. So I'll bring it up and show you a little bit closer. And get them all kind of colored in. Just kind of dabbing. Oop, forgot this little guy here. Okay. So can you see how it's just a little bit of color there? So I'm going to close up the dark, I'm going to go back to the light, and I'm just going to blend it. Oop, not that end. Just blend it, just very lightly. So it has a little bit of lightness right in the center, but it kind of gives you that little definition. It looked like you really knew what you were doing when you were coloring. But trust me, I don't. I'm not a big colorist, if you want to call it that. Okay, so let me bring that up close to you. See how that just gives it, brings it a little bit to life. Now what you can do with the wings, you can add Wink of Stella, you can, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Let me put my blends back into their proper holder. Okay, so again, quick card, right? So we're going to do some layering. Now with this, you want to definitely make sure you use like a Tombow glue, something that's strong or a, um, you want to use the tearing tape because you're going to glue it here to this foil paper, which is a little bit slick and slippery. All right, then I was digging through my ribbon and I came across this ribbon that I forgot I had. That's in the catalog. It's hard to see, but it has a little bit of sparkle and it's called um, Glitter Organdy Ribbon. So again, you know, we're going to be thrifty with our ribbon. And we can go ahead and do the same technique as before. 
I'm trying to think, do I want it there? Let's go across with it. I mm, don't want to cover all my beads up though. Okay, let's just go on the side that way. I don't want to cover the bees because, I mean, they're special. I mean, where would we get honey from if we didn't have them, right? Is anybody here fond of bees? Um, hi, Carmela. Thank you for sharing, Carol. Be sure to share it. Love the bees. The font is pretty on the hello. Yeah, it is. I'll show you the rest of it um, in a second here. Bring in back in those ribbon scissors, right? Use those ribbon scissors. So, okay. So I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you look forward to my weekly Facebook lives because I feel like you know I, I I love what I do. I love sharing it, and um, I know not everybody's able to come to classes and attend events. So this is kind of a way that you know I can bring my um, love of stamping to you whether you're watching it live or on the replay and I'll be uploading this to my YouTube channel too so if you haven't had enough of me yet you can watch me over there so there look at the little bit of glitzing you know between the background of that and this organdy ribbon mm -hmm, I love that so here we go we can stick this right to the front I'm addicted. <laughs> really cute. Thank you. Lisa, are you a demonstrator? I don't know. I don't remember if I ever asked you that. Because I see your name on a lot of different other demonstrators' um, lives and that. So let me know if you're a demonstrator. If not, you may want to take advantage of the special offer that Stampin' Up! is doing during celebration. Let's put a little B on the inside. Um, for $99, I mean, you and you really get a lot of product plus the extra little paper cutter and the DSP and an additional stamp set of your choice. So um, it's really a great deal. No, you're not? Have you ever thought of doing it? I'm going to make this guy full force because he's on the inside. Just love to get ideas. Oh, okay. I mean, the opportunity is always there if you ever decide to. I mean, if you if you purchase a lot, you might as well, you know, save yourself some money. Okay, so let's go into our little um, thing of goodies here. So um, here is the little. Um, let me move my scissors. With the stamp set, we have this little beehive. So there's that. We have wishing you sunshine and happiness. Oh, you can't see. I'm over here. Sorry. Wishing you sunshine and happiness, thinking of you, sweet friend, hello, thank you, celebrate every moment, and then you have these two flowers. So here this is, and I stamped this in crushed curry, okay, and um, I ran, well that one didn't come out so good. Now one of the tips I do want to tell you is when you're cutting out these intricate, intricate dies, I like to put a little shim in my big shop because it wasn't cutting it out right. You can see by that one. But I figure if I'm using this one, I can just tuck that in. I can trim that off. So I wasn't going to throw it away. But if you're doing these, now this one I did on that black foil paper. You definitely probably want to put a shim to be able to get all of those little pieces out. So um, it has the flowers. And the flowers go two different ways. So it has a righty and a lefty on the stamp set right there. Righty and lefty. So let's just see. And this is usually how I create is, you know, of course I wouldn't put it all together. I kind of had an idea what I was doing. So if we take this little guy, I think we can glue him somewhere, right? Let's put him there. So this B is great. And here we are again with our clog. I'd like to put my glue into these fine little glue bottles. But if you don't protect the tip of them, it gets clogged. So we have this little area here to put the glue. So let's see. Let's put them there. All right. And what else can we do? 
Oh, I know what we can do. Let's get, um, let me dig in here. I have a little guy. No, I have a, just use a big guy. Okay, so I'm going to bring one of these in that I die cut, and I'm going to bring those blends back in again. And this is the light one. And the light and the dark. This one's getting kind of yucky already. I may have to order a new one. Unless I ordered one, maybe I have one in my stash. I have to look and see. I have some over on the side that I knew was um, kind of getting a little bit used up. I'll color that in a little bit too. Okay. And I'm thinking, let's raise him up. I always think of that song. You raise me up. Y'all know what I mean, right? Oh, hi, Fran. How's it going for you, Fran? I miss you. Fran's in um, in my team. She's one of the sweet bee stampers. She's down visiting her relatives, so I haven't seen Fran in a while. I miss her. So we're going to raise this guy up, and we're just going to stick him there. I really think that does a lot to a card, just by like picking up one and raising it up a little bit. So what do you think? Do you like that card? Let me clean this up. Let me see some hearts if you like it. Maybe you don't. Then, you know, hopefully not no mad faces. But I think it's super cute. Real simple, too, that you guys can do. Anybody can do. Not saying you guys need simple. But um, you guys can definitely do. And just put a little B on the inside. And, you know, you could stamp something. Sometimes I like to keep them blank. So that when I need a saying, you know, I have the card ready and I could just, you know, zhush it. So here was my first card, which I posted this on the Facebook page. And this one is where I raised one of them up. So you can see the difference. You know, if you're a ribbon person or not a ribbon person, they're still both beautiful cards. Um, then I got a little adventurous. And again, still using that very vanilla paper. And I did this one. Okay, we back. Oh, I don't know what that was. I hope I'm still here. Okay. I hope so. So these are all stamped on here. I'm going to wrap it up quickly because I'm thinking Facebook's like flashing the lights on me. Say so you had enough. And um, this little bee, I just raised him up. Super cute. And um, this was one of the bees I cut out. Look, I got ink on my finger. And put him on the inside. I'm back. I'm so sorry. Not a bee person, but this card makes me want this set. Yes, I know. Sorry, I, I don't know what happened. I got zhushed off, but I still kept talking. You know me, I just keep talking. So then I thought, now we have designer series paper. It's um, the freebie with a $50 purchase. It's called Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series Paper. It's in the Little Celebration catalog. Real pretty paper. It has a lot of gold in it. So I thought, let's just bring in the little strip I had left from cutting that and bring in some of that designer series paper. Look how pretty that one is. So there's one there. Um, here's another card. I shared this last week. And um, this one flips up this way. Isn't that pretty? And these dies will cut out the paper too. So here's another one there. Here's one when I was waiting for all of you to show up. I just did this one really quick. And when you cut out these little honeycombs, the centers cut out too. So I used the designer series paper and then just glued them on there. Here's another pretty card. I'll post samples on my um, Facebook page for you. Um, this one is one I did for a swap. I'm not sure if I shared it last week or not. And I stamped on the silver foil paper with the stays on black for the um, the little beehive on that one. And this one I cut out the bee in gold. Real cute. 
And then this one is a sneak peek, so this one's a hush-hush. Because if you place an order of $35 or more and use my host code, I have a monthly PDF that I'm mailing out to everybody. And it has, this this month for January has about 15 different product projects. So it'll come to you in an email. You can print it off, you can save it, you can do whatever you want. But, um, so that one's already ready to go. I have to um, get some, I'll send you a thank you card for your order and email you that. So that one I did the golf set. But this is a sneak peek for um, what it's going to be for February. This is my card design for February with the um, demonstrator dream team that I'm on. And here's your inside. And the inside I did a little bit of layering too, if you can see. So just some layering using the paper. Um, this is a gray, this is the white, not the gray, this is the white, wrong ribbon. I'll get it. This is the white crinkle seam binding, and I actually took the um, one of our Stampin' Blends like I did before, and I just colored that to make it that grayish black color. So, a lot of fun ideas, fun designs, even if you don't like bees, you know, I mean, this is definitely something you'll want to add to your collection. So, now, last week, one more thing, and then I'm going to let you all go. Last week, Mary asked me, am I going to come back with the card challenge? So, I thought, yes, I will. So, card challenge is I show you a layout, and I'll post it on the page. Show you a layout, and um, it's a way to get you started to come up with a card. So, here was one I did once before. This is the card challenge for the layout. So, it's just done in black, white, and gray. But you would have a punched images here. It doesn't have to be circles. You would have a strip here and another piece there. So here's a sample of how I did the card challenge. So I just flipped this piece, you know, to go up here and did a little bit of layering and um, kind of took this design and made it my own. So that this is a sample just to show you what all the card challenge is. And so the one that I have that I will post for you is, this is the layout here. This is the card challenge for January. If you want to say January, it's, you know, if you want to participate, all you have to do is to make a card using this layout. Now you can use a different punch. You can use a different kind of strip. You can use a piece of lace or ribbon. You can have it go this way. You can have it go this way, you know, that way. However you want to do it, it's just basic layering. And um, let me open this up. <laughs> I think it opens up. Maybe it doesn't. No, did I do it on the thick? Okay, so I didn't. I didn't open it up. It's just super thick, but it's just different layers. Okay, so anyhow you interpret that. Now you can't save, you can't post it on this page, unfortunately, but I have another um, customer page. If you can't find that one that you can share on, um, let me know and I can send you the link for that. But it's another a customer stamp and Sue creates where you're able to share it. This one you, you can't post on it because it's the type of page it is. But anyhow, so that's it for tonight. Now don't forget to, I lost my giveaway. To be sure to share and type SHARED in capital letters. And next week I'll be doing a drawing for these um, faceted gems. And good luck to you for that. And congratulations to Mary for getting the rhinestones. And Lori, if you're watching on the replay, congratulations. Um, I'm not sure if I have your snail address, so be sure to message me. Through private messaging what your mailing address is and I'll get that stamp set off to you so thank you everyone for taking time out of your busy day for joining me be sure to come back here next Thursday 7 p.m. Eastern Time share it tell your friends invite everyone to come because it's not a party without all of you here I truly do appreciate anyone that placed orders this week I really appreciate those as well and um, thanks for coming, and we'll see you online. All right, everyone, have a good night and a great weekend. Bye for now.